dum ba dum ba dum A duck walked up to a lemonade stand And he said to the man running the stand Hey, bump bump bump, got any grapes? The man said, no, we just sell lemonade But it's cold and it's fresh and it's all homemade Can I get you a glass? The duck said, I'll pass Then he waddled away, waddle waddle Till the very next day, bump 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 Good morning, Wilson. I'm Scarlett. And I'm Ariana. And today is Tuesday, October 2nd, 2023. And, and we are Wilson, Wilson Video, bringing you your Warrior News. This week, the second school-wide fundraiser has kicked off. Remember, there are three options this year. Fundraiser 2 gives family a chance to promote online-only orders. Make sure to listen in for more details this week. Selling only five items gives all students a chance to travel to a water park in June. Well, the lunch menu is on the screen now, so everyone knows their options. Scarlett, did you know that progress reports are right around the corner? Parents and guardians can check using Parent Portal. Remember to sign up for the SEL Google Classroom page to access the QR code to sign up. Yeah, that's right. The dogs are coming to, the, to visit this Friday, so make sure you are signed up. We are going to take a moment now and queue to today's birthdays. In music news, the members of the 8th grade band and orchestra will be performing at RHS for the Down River Fanfare Marching Band Invitational on Tuesday, October 3rd. The Wilson Warrior 8th grade band and orchestra will perform the national anthem and the Why Not Fight song at 4.50 p.m. at the beginning of this event. There will be 14 other high schools marching bands performing throughout the rest of the evening. Go Wilson Warriors! In sports news, at the end of our announcements, we will have a visual sports update. So everyone can pause and see what events are coming up as well as any recap news. Mariana, did you know the Wilson cheer team has new uniforms this year? Yeah, a few of my friends are on the team. Speaking of cheer, let's cue to Miley and Selena with the new feature segment. Good morning, segment. Wilson. I'm Miley. And I'm Selena. And today, we're going to be interviewing other cheerleaders, asking them what's, what's their, their favorite, favorite part, part of, of cheer? cheer and why. Stunting, because I love flying. Uh, stunting or the cheers, because they're fun. <laughs> stunting, because I like to throw people. My favorite part of cheer is stunting, because it's fun. My favorite part of cheer is tumbling because it's fun. Uh, stunting because I get to fly. Stunting because we get to throw people. My favorite part of cheer... Hmm, I like tumbling and stunting. My favorite part of cheer is stunting because I like to fly. Tumbling because, just look at me, I like um, learning new skills. <laughs> okay. um, my favorite part of cheer is tumbling and stunting. My favorite part of cheer is tumbling because it's fun. Today I'm here with Coach Taylor. What's your favorite part about being a cheer coach at WMS Cheer? Um, working with the athletes and sharing my love of cheer with them. What is your favorite part about cheer? Um, I like the energy and the excitement from the crowd. Stunting because I like throwing people in the air. Um, my favorite part of cheer is stunting. I like the energy that everybody gives. I like all of us messing around, and I like the ghost game. Are you interested in joining the team for Wilson? Open Swim will be open to one grade each Friday and run from 3 to 4 p.m. Six grades open swim is this Friday. Make sure you have proper swimming attire. The swim team is starting up this school year. Monday, October 23rd, starts optional conditioning. Wednesday, November 1st, is the first day of practice from 3 to 4.30 p.m. here at Wilson. Today, after school, is PBIS Club and Service Squad, both meeting in the LRC. Speaking of PBAS Club, they are in need of items for the Halloween dance. Black, orange, and purple tablecloths, white sheets for cutting, and candy for a trick-or-treat station. All donations need to be to the main office by Tuesday, October 24th. The Halloween dance will be on October 26th from 6 p.m. until 7.30 p.m. There will be a costume contest, trick-or-treat table, selfie station, and a DJ. How, much does a, how does a student get into the dance? Well, they have to have made good choices so far this school year and be one of 300 students to purchase a ticket after school starting on October 23rd and October 24th. Tickets are $5. Today, after school, interviews start for the Warrior Closet Club in room 43. Interviews will take place today, tomorrow, and Thursday. All students interested in joining the club must attend a mandatory training session after school on Thursday in the Warrior Closet. This Wednesday from 3 until 3.45 is Math Leads. If you're an excellent problem solver, have awesome math skills, or just love to be challenged, then Mathletes is the club for you. They will meet in Ms. Miller's room 110 tomorrow. Students can also join Book Club and Board Game Arena Club this month. Board Game Arena Club starts this Thursday in the LRC from 3 to 3.45 p.m. 
Our club also begins next Thursday in Miss Ashley's room after school from 2.50 until 3.50 p.m. If you want to experience the great outdoors and learn more about the natural world and its wildlife, Naturalist Club might just be the club for you. They will be going on some local adventures, crafting, and doing a lot. This club will be capped at 20 students. First come, first serve. Signed permission slips will be required and students must dress for the weather. The Naturalist Club will meet two Wednesdays a month. The Naturalist Club will meet up in Mrs. Monomere's room, 210, after school at 3 and finish by 3.50 p.m. Wow, there are just a lot of clubs to choose so far this school year. Are you joining any? Yeah, PBS Club, what about you? Um, I don't have time. Well, that's all for this tremendous Tuesday. Now, please stand and put your hand on the heart for the Pledge of Allegiance. I pledge of allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all.